Hi, my name is Greg Fell. I'm Director of Public Health in Sheffield. Um, this is a short video on some of the myths around the test and trace service. Um, so that, that service is operational in Sheffield, it's working. Um, uh, th there's still lots of confusion about some elements of the service and I'll try and, I'll try and put right some of, some of those in this short video. Um, if you're contacted by a contact tracer, an NHS test and trace contact tracer, you will be needed, you will be required to self isolate for 14 days and you can't get around that. Um, 14 days is a long time, particularly if you're well. So uh, th th there's a really, really important message right up front, which is don't be a contact. Um, uh, and that's relatively easy, um, uh, to basically adhere to the guidance that's set, that's set out. So, so distance is really important, um, two metres wherever possible, um, wash your hands frequently, regularly, soap and hot water or 70% alcohol gel, that's again really, really important and stay at home where possible, uh, go out where you really need to. Um, however, if you do develop symptoms, then here's what you should do. Um, one, isolate. Um, by far the most important thing to reduce the spread of coronavirus is to isolate if you've got symptoms. 50% uh, of the reduction comes from that. Um, you should isolate for seven days um, and anyone in your household should isolate for 14 days from when you started to have symptoms. Um, two, um, get a test. Um, um, again, get a test immediately and two, two ways to do that. One is nhs.uk slash coronavirus or, or call 119. Um, if the test is positive, you must still complete the seven days of seven, seven days of isolation. Even if you start to become well or feel well, you're, you could still be infectious to others and anyone in your household must complete the 14 days of isolation from when you started feeling poorly. Um, again, even if they're well, because they could be um, infectious to others, they could have a, 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 the, the infection without symptoms and, and that could affect others. Share your contacts is the second thing. Um, uh, if, you're, if you test positive, NHS Test and Trace will send you a text or an email and call, or call you with instructions on how to share details, you've had close, details of people you've had close contact with in the recent past or, and or places that you visited. Um, you'll, be, you'll need to give this information online or you'll be called by one of our contact tracers. Um, um, if you test negative, um, you could still catch coronavirus um, uh, and it's important that just because you've had a negative test doesn't mean that you're immune from the virus uh, so you still do need to practice social distancing and or hand washing like, like the rest of us. Um, so um, th there's been some confusion about if you, if you have been isolating, you need to get another test in order to return to work. Um, just to clarify here uh, very, very particularly, um, if you test positive, you do not need to be tested again in order to get a negative test to return to work. Um, and if you self-isolated for seven days um, and you're symptom free, then you can return to work very safely. Um, so if, if you're contacted by the test and trace service because you have been in close contact with someone who's tested positive, i.e. you're a contact, um, you should do the following things. One, um, log on to the NHS Test and Trace website. That's normally the easiest way to do it, but, but um, if not, um, the, the service will, will contact you um, and talk you through the process. Um, two, um, isolate for 14 days from the, uh, the last contact you had with the person who tested positive. Um, and it's really, really important that you do that. I know it's a big deal and 14 days is a long time, but you could be infectious to others. And the whole point of test and trace is to break the chain, of, break the chain of transmission. So even if you feel well, you might have an asymptomatic infection and you may pass that on to others. So it is important that you self-isolate if you're a contact. Um, get a test. Um, if you develop symptoms of coronavirus, um, then you must get a test and the, uh, as I say the easiest way to get the test is to call 119 or to log on to nhs.uk forward slash coronavirus. If your test is positive then stay at home for seven days um, uh, and again you will be asked about your contacts. Um, if your test is negative then you must still complete the 14 days of seven, you must still complete the 14 days of self-isolation because the virus might not be detectable in you yet. Um, so that takes, takes me back time and time again about the, uh, to the message of don't be a contact and try and avoid being a contact at all costs. Um, so um, t tell people about your test results. Um, if you develop symptoms, you might want to alert the people that, that you've had close contact with in the past 48 hours. 
um, uh, and you should tell them that they might have coronavirus um, or, or that you, you may have coronavirus but, but you're waiting for a test result. Um, at, at this stage, um, those people don't need to self-isolate but they should take extra care in social distancing and good hand hygiene, uh, wash their hands regularly. Um, so you, might, you may want to write down your recent close contacts now so that so you have them to hand as and when you get a call. Um, lastly, scamming is, is a big concern. Uh, so I think it's worth me stressing the things that, that NHS test and trace contact tracers will never ask. Um, um, it's inevitable that there will be scam, scammers around. Um, and so NHS contact tracers will never um, ask you to dial a premium rate number to speak to them. So, for, some, for example, something that starts with 09 or 087. Um, they'll never ask you to make any form of payment or purchase of a product of any kind. Um, they'll never ask you for your bank account. They'll never ask you for your social media identity and certainly not your login details. Um, they'll never ask you for any passwords or pins or ask you to set something up that might need a password or pin. Um, and they'll never ask you to disclose personal or medical information to your contacts. Um, and they'll never, they will never disclose that information either. Um, they'll never provide medical advice on the treatment or, 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 or potential coronavirus symptoms. Um, and they'll never ask you to download software to your PC or ask you to hand over control of your PC. Um, and lastly, um, they'll never ask you to access any website that doesn't belong to the government or the NHS.